What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I felt we should talk upgrades. And I've decided to do this via positional selection. So we're really looking at attacking players. Should we have gone through leagues? I would love your feedback. If you want more of the upgrades, please like the video. It tells me to run this up for midfielders or to make some sort of league dynamic or prioritize going through each and every league, what players I think are really gonna jump off the page. I've got 15 names. They're gonna kind of be all over the place, but you have to understand my criteria, you have to understand my logic, and I would love for you to tell me what you think the ratings are gonna be of the players, and you're gonna suggest other names. I know that you are. There's just too many to talk about, which I'm completely fine with. So let me know the player and the rating that he should be, maybe where they start and where they should be going. Are we on the same page? Talking about attackers. Criteria, we're looking at the base foot item. So I'm not talking about informs or upgrades or promos. Base foot item and the movement from that base foot item. EA consideration and notoriety will be put into the equation, which leads me to FIFA logic and movement of rating. And some of this deals with factors that you may not love. And we're looking at strikers and wingers. I'll do another video with midfielders. So I will toss in left mid and right mid into that winger category. I'm gonna call this factors. Player recognition, which we touched on. League, club, nation, FIFA reputation. All this plays a factor as to the movement, the upgrade, and the priority. Whether you love it or you hate it, this is not just about what happened on the actual pitch, but what I believe can happen virtually and will happen and is worth talking about in terms of you want to see these players have that trajectory. I hope that we're on the same page. That was kind of a long intro, but there was a lot of information that was necessary. Ali Watkins. 14 and 5 last, 11th place. We're looking at Villa. Decent. Premier League, Englishman. Going from a 76, you got to think that he's touching that 79 or that 80 overall based on the season that he had and everything else that kind of comes into my logical argument. I'm thinking Jermaine Defoe esque, that type of agenda. Mark your calendar, sign it up, rotate it. I don't know how he can't get better. There's no way you can issue back-to-back -back seasons with him being at a 76. That's my vibe. That's my energy. That's my reasoning. We're very practical here. Lukaku, he's not always happy with EA. And he's done everything in his power the last couple years to get the bump, to get those improvements. I still don't know if we're going to see better than an 87. I'll be very transparent. He's powerful. He's dynamic, consistent, club, country. What has Lukaku not really accomplished the last couple seasons? Guess you could argue towards Champions League, but he has been the saving grace when you're looking at Inter. He has to be on my upgrade agenda, but I would not expect serious movement. Just tossing that out there. Chuki Lozano, Mexican FIFA God status. We should build a statue. Talk about him. Be about him. He's got three informs and a team of the season, and they're all dangerous, deadly, authentic, aggressive, game changers. Now, the downfall is he starts at an 80. Could this only be an 81 or an 82? I think that's possible, sadly. We'll see together. Maybe at best we could squeeze out an 83 for the burner that's getting through that back door. This man is the flash, at least at the FIFA scene. Mo Bamba. 78 leaves you a little more of a margin to work with he has five different upgrades french obviously or clearly ea has given him notice eyes available that emoji with the eyes they're on mo bamba i know that's not his first name he's going through a rebrand we've talked about it social media all over speaking up this recorded live actually on twitch at mike labelle where you get with me if you want to be included via twitter instagram you name the platform we're putting content up daily just like what's happening here on the youtube channel we're stirring the pot chef dirty cooking up something gnarly extra salt also i will make a video on downgrades we have a lot to talk about if that wasn't clear ben yetter should have included this in factors. I don't think I mentioned age. And that's where I have a concern or a skepticism. I could be a bit more pessimistic because even though he had a good year and he has that FIFA stock, that heavy weighted vest, you're working out in the gym to go with nationalities or nationality, the rat-tastic parallel, the analogies, the love and the hate. He's just being talked about, extremely relevant. I think he'd be better than the 84. He should be, but I don't think that we're gonna necessarily see Ben Yedder move up to an 86 or an 87. This could be an 85 push, love touch. I'd like to be wrong, but I'm just speaking my truth. Muriel, one of the most efficient goal scorers. And if you're a FIFA historian, you have used him. 
talked about him, abused with him, threw balls, in behind, the golden era of foot. He's been relevant since that time period. We've seen him as silvers and golds, most of the time underrated or lower rated, but overpowered. 79 overall, surely, even with a little bit of that age, this man's gotta be more like the wine or the bourbon or the whiskey. Give him an 81, give him an 82. Let him start out the year and be authentic, express himself. Super sub of dreams or that cheap early inclusion. We're not discriminating. Gio Reyna, there might be an American bias, but surely there's gonna be some serious movement. Starting at a 68, I see Gio being a low rated, maybe even a non rare. Looking at gold status, that's a plus seven on the minimum. At least if you're hearing my argument, this is a ratings reminder. Bumper Roo, did I mention I'm American and he's American? I actually met him before as well. Nice guy, on a side note. Andre Silva, five star recruit, no denying it. But will that transcend to FIFA success? I don't think EA is gonna make the moves or the game plans, but he ain't gonna be a 79. We've seen too many improvements, too many foot items, too much impact and relevance. Expect an 83. That's where I'm at. Isak, the Swedish grass hopper with developments. Unique, unorthodox, understandable, underappreciated, and could be your uncle. I was just looking for another U word and I was running out of any sort of relevant analogies, wordplay, puns, you name it. Maybe I should have said Swedish fish. We could talk about him being an Ibrahimovic Jr., but I don't think that's fair to either party. Ibra carries so much weight, success, class, just oozes of his own individualism. And I don't want to take away from what Ibra's accomplished, and I don't want to credit Isak with those types of expectation or potential, because we're dealing with Ibrahimovic. I'm not even sure he would want that pressure. Like I said, I don't think it really sways for either party. Lewandowski should be the highest rated striker or attacking player in FIFA 22. You could make that case. You can make that argument. All he's done this year, beginning to end, is upgrade significantly. Lewandowski should be the shift. I can see him at a 93 all day. Base, strong, hold. This is a Polish beast. I wish I knew Polish animals because I would insert some sort of reference right here. Federico Chiesa, movement from a 78, inevitable. He's at Juventus, Italian national team. He's a youngster, he's only 23 years old. Success written all over him. Sign the contract, give me the paperwork. This is a guy that many were hoping Bernadeschi was gonna turn into. He's now taking that slot. Grabbed the bread, doubled up on the pasta, got the extra sauce. Ready for the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner. And then post meal, you get yourself a coffee or an espresso and you bring out the pastries. All of this will make sense if you've had an Italian dinner properly. Grillish, best calves in the game. Kinda just fits the foot equation. He's a genius on the ball, absolute influence, no denying. When he steps onto the actual pitch, difference maker. Touches are clean, they're precise. He's at an 80, but he's English Premier League, national team, impactful, dynamic, able to give you that razzle, dazzle consistently. Gotta be rewarded. Bamford, man's not even gold rated yet. This might be the biggest movement. He had a triple in form and a team of the season. That's the trifecta, plus the bonus ball. If you watch the NBA, they have the money ball if you're shooting three-pointers. He's collected on that. This 71 could go as high as maybe an 80. That's a plus nine between one year. And I think it's a realistic expectation. I don't think I'm downplaying or overselling. Neither of those things aligned, they were contradictory. I think I'm spot on. Saka, how can he not fluctuate? Similar to many of the selections. Young, English, Premier League, big club, everything makes sense. That's why I was saying, should I just go through upgrades? Should I separate via league? I've done this via position, but there's so many different players that are going through my mind. And I, do I want to dive into MLS? Do I want to talk about just the players that I think will upgrade the, the most that you might not even have on your radar? Bronze players going to gold players. Silver's going to gold players. Everything else that's in between. Or am I just looking at the big namers? The highlights, the spotlights, the prime. Times Square, Central Park, the tourist traps, the tourist attractions. And at number one, I have Holland and my request, my statement. I'm talking to the FIFA gods. Please, EA, make him usable. Start off at an 84. He 
it could be upwards to an 88 or an 89. I need the weak foot or more pace or better turning or some kind of skill moves or gameplay that allows these types of classic target men or big bodies, wide shoulders, brute force to have a competitive advantage. Holland should not be lost walking around the park or the neighborhood, the Kova sack. He should be star studded the same way that he is on the actual pitch. That wraps up the video. I think the vibes were heavy. We've led or started the discussion. There should be a lot of comments in this video. And if you want more, please drop a like. But I'd like to go back and forth with all of you. And we can kind of discuss good choices, bad choices, players that need to be broadcasted or bring in a bit more of that limelight. We're talking about them. We're manifesting. We're speaking it into existence. And as always, I upload daily. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm talking ASAP, ASAP.